Hello everyone, Iram Tasneem here for all to new. Welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I'm using the new beginning stem set, which I will watercolor with the new artist watercolors by Altenew. First, I'll stamp a couple of flowers and leaves on watercolor paper in obsidian ink. And you will notice that I'm using this white grid mat by Altenew. This mat has a bit of a give uh, to it so it makes stamping easy especially if you are stamping on textured um, paper or cardstock okay so you see these um, already colored images I thought I was uh, filming the entire thing but it wasn't recording so I'm going to color the one single flower that is left I will start with the topmost petal I'll apply water to the petal and then apply pocket full of sunshine color closer to the base of the petal. Then I'll clean my brush and pull out the pigment to the tip of the petal. I'll then add a more concentrated pigment of pocket full of sunshine and next I'll add summer afternoon watercolor and right away you'll start to see the depth. Next shade that I'll add is Fiery Sunset. This is a bright orange so you can add this as stippling to keep it um, not as stark. Next I'll mix Warm and Cozy plus Delectable Delights watercolor to form a rustic orange color uh, to add um, more depth and I'll uh, add this just to the base of the petal and leave the petal as is for now. I'll come back to this petal later. Now I'll move to the petal that is the furthest behind. I'll color this a bit dark since it's behind but I'll start in the same manner. Starting with pocket full of sunshine, then summer afternoon, then fiery sunset and make sure to pull out the fiery sunset watercolor a bit towards the tip of the petal to make it appear darker than the one that we just colored. Next up is the mixture of warm and cozy plus delectable delights watercolor. Notice that I will keep the concentration darker on the base of the petals no matter the placement of the petal. Now I leave the petal as is and come back to it later. I'll color all the petals in a similar manner and come back to them as to add a stippling. For the stippling, I'll use summer afternoon and the color mixture that I made uh, with warm and cozy plus delectable delights watercolor. Enjoy the coloring process. I'll be back in a few.
for the flower center i'll first add fall harvest and then i'll add a more concentrated pigment of uh, fall harvest in crescent shape to show depth and dome like shape of the flower center the second shade that i'll add is delectable delights then i'll add coffee break i'll zap this quickly with my heat tool so i can add stippling with coffee break watercolor then delectable delights and in the end fall harvest The images are dry so I die cut them with the coordinating dies and set them aside while I work on the card front and for the card front I decided to add a light color wash first I add water to the panel and then tropical forest watercolor color wash once I apply the color I'll add splatters of the same To add more splatters, I'll use my heat tool to dry the panel and add a little bit more splatters so that they show on the dry surface. If you have been following my work, you know I draw these black horizontal lines to ground my image or to have it as a base for my floral arrangement. And that is exactly what I will do on this panel. Um, I'll draw a few horizontal lines of varying thickness. Next, I'll use the obsidian ink to stamp my sentiment, which is from the Paint a Flower Poppy stamp set. I'll just um, mount my card front on the card base and then arrange the flowers on foam tape. I will glue the leaves down directly. I will take the jet black artist marker and keeping it at 90 degrees, almost 90 degrees, I'll add a few dots of varying sizes randomly as you would do splatters. Think of these as controlled splatters, absolutely no mess and they look nice as splatters do. I'll just add a few uh, gems and my card is ready i hope you liked today's video thank you everyone for watching bye